All right, I'm gonna. <sighs> gonna snort a line? No, no, George. All right. No, George, not again, please God. <laughs> <laughs> Just something to wet my whistle. Don't worry. Whatever you drink, <laughs> I die. Doesn't matter what you get. <laughs> I'm gonna keep drinking. I gotta kill. I gotta weed out all your characters. <laughs> my creativity. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta drink dry. <laughs> Look, if anyone was there when I went to Mitch and said, "All right, here are the four character ideas. I know you're gonna hate three of them." <laughs> <laughs> and then Mitch said, I hate this one the most. I'm like, all right, that's the one we're doing. <laughs> you know what's hilarious? Is that I actually did hate that one the most, and it very quickly pivoted to, wait, actually, hold on a second. This is a good idea. <laughs> As most of our stupid ideas come out to be, honestly. All right. <clears throat> so, today, uh, well, last session... Everyone tried to go ahead and sneak further into the valley, heading towards the Griddle Desert. Upon uh, your escapades, you came across the Solstice Outpost and tried your best to um, get by it undetected. But a shiny gold object attracted one of your attentions and you took hold of it, unbeknownst that it was some type of insect. Uh, as it tried to escape your grasp, it spewed its powdery goodness all over you, effectively a fairy fire, uh, highlighting you for all to see. And in a moment of hesitation and uh, pressure, Samira exploded in a fury of fire, uh, demolishing si si uh, one side of the fortress as a, dis as a distraction. With that in place, you all took uh, off and began running as a bunch of Gerudo chased after you. And you slunk, uh, slunk into the shadows once more. You eventually made your way to Nabururu's tomb, a <coughs> landmark that was a historic location where the Hyrulean forces and the Gerudo forces uh, made their final stand. And even till this day, there is a scar that is left upon the land that is stretched across the grounds. This is where the Black Talon awaited your arrival. After a much, uh, a short debate on things, the landscape around you seemed to shift and change, and as their w the discussions uh, progressed, Fallon reached out and tried to rip Pee-wee's face off. Uh, and in a panic, screaming, nightmare, 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 Pee-wee in <laughs> turn grabbed Fallon's face and uh, found the, the one... I forgot that's what happened. The one God damn spot... It. Uh, where the curse was placed on Fallon and managed to exercise it. Uh, I forget what I had the DC on that stupid thing. I think it was like 22 or 21 or something. That, uh, that's a two for one special on Pee Wee's and exorcisms and getting fucking horrible curses off of people. I'm just saying. Here. He's doing great. Right. Honestly, honestly, doing honestly, highly is work. One for one. Yeah. If, if you do a religion check for anything else, I'll fail it. No, no, Hunter, that's I two for it. two. Remember, and he fucking good. exercised Lorath. Yeah. Yep, you're good. Yeah. yeah. You're good. Upon what a guy. When this happened, the Black Talon, seeing that an asset was lost, decided to cut their losses and began firing upon all of you. Samira noticing a echo run across the the battlefield itself quickly traced out where it was heading and pointed everyone towards it. Everyone immediately, as fast as they could, jumped into this small little crevice. Uh, Samira being one of the last to enter Fallon following shortly after. But before she did, she spun around and kidnapped the child. 
and shoved her into the hole and followed afterwards. Everyone on the other side was a bit surprised on that front. Uh, as a child that was essentially brainwashed just kind of slid over and all of you were essentially prepared for the worst. Uh, but when, uh, as all of you made it to the other side of this opening, it was blasted shut as Nadia kind of waved and smiled at all of you goodbye as this happened, um, unknown of what happened to her afterwards. <clears throat> With uh, the situation apparently relieved, Discussions of a short rest took place, and a moment of respite as all of you began to uh, start looking around, some, uh, but focused your attention to the girl. Fallon, using the divine magic that seem to have begun returning to you you started removing the spells off of uh, these devices off of this child and one by one uh, release her from her restraints there were some discussions and some knowledge has been passed around And during that time, a small, warm glow, not of a fire, but of stones gifted by Raudak uh, to Taiga, uh, illuminates the room ever so slightly. As uh, Taiga is preparing a meal for everyone, uh, there is a moment where, like, Samira is, like, looking around, like, kind of freaked out a little bit. And Taiga just goes over to her and he starts pointing at different locations. Um, <laughs> and they're all having this, this, uh, this small little discussion with this girl. And that's actually where we'll pick up today. As a lot of you are inside this caved in entrance of this cave, uh, there is a passage that does lead out. It's a large room. There is a um, from where you guys are currently situated, you're essentially at the top and at the entrance of this cave. But as it goes and progresses, as large as this room is, and it's like a 30 by 30 room, it starts to decline and go deeper. Um, not like a steep decline, but it is a steady decline. There are uh, large rock formations. There are actually other passages that seem to lead here, but they seem to come from further above as well. Uh, but there doesn't seem like there's any lights in there. The keys that situate themselves in this cave as well are a bit deterred by not only Fallon's uh, glaive, but uh, whatever light this, these stones that Taiga have taken from the Twilight Realm uh, seems to kind of keep them at bay, almost like a, a cheap mosquito, mosquito repellent. And that's where we'll pick up today. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing a mic check. Does, can you guys hear me very well or not? Uh, we can yeah, Alan, you're in a well. You sound like you're on the phone. He's fine. Yes. I am on the phone. Oh, yes. Well. Then you but sound yes. like you're on the phone. But yes, we can hear you. <laughs> okay. That's all I care about. <laughs> I'm just trying to make just food. You're fine. All right. We can hear, so, you. We can hear you well enough. <clears throat> so first things first, uh, Taga is supposed to make this newcomer feel a little bit more at ease. So he's going to say peekaboo changeo and change his uh outfit to look like his uh his a uh, costume and he just dons his little his his a uh, little uh uh mask and see he's like yeah ha, -ha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> that's really, we love that. 
This is amazing. Because <laughs> because I know that 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 little Gerudos can't look at Vo. So if I don't look like a Vo and I'm in costume, it might be okay. <laughs> Tyga, you're also at, in the process. You have given her, given her sweets, and yes. she hasn't been looking at you, uh, like directly. She's looked at you, but like she's never looked at you at the face. Uh, she yeah. tries. She tries her best to uh, not to. Uh, yep. You go ahead and you. And like a 90s transition, you spin around, you scream <laughs> them, you go, yeah, and you transform, and everyone sees Taiga transform into his leafy, uh, I wanted to say Kokiri, but it's, uh, it's like Kokiri. Korok. <laughs> it's a Korok. Korok. <laughs> I defaulted to Kokiri. Uh, Is it a transformation like, like fucking Jim Carrey's The Mask? Pretty much is what he's doing. That would be like, oh my god! That's I'm great. sorry. I'm picturing it more, more like uh, Animal Crossing, just like changing your clothes, just a little skin. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And he has, uh, he has this. Uh, it's a wooden mask you're trying to like display, essentially, yeah, correct? Yes. Mm-mm. Okay. You he he dons this wooden mask and uh, this leafy green outfit. You've seen him dress up as this before, as he's he's been to the tournament to try and entertain everyone at the Coliseum wearing this very same outfit. Uh, but now he just can do it. And uh, Pee Wee, this motherfucker's trying to be a Deku as hard as he can. However you feel about that, my guy, you feel about it. <laughs> That's wood face, dude. Calm it down. I thought it was leaf face. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of better, isn't it? Tiger <laughs> takes off the mask, looks at it. It looks like a leaf made of wood. Yeah. Because <laughs> he doesn't know what that means. <laughs> it looks great on you. Thank you. Are you trying to marry her? No, I'm trying to make it easier. You to gave her, her candy and stuff, dude. You're totally trying to marry her. No. Yes. I want to marry Mabel. Alan smiles as he watches the interaction. Finally, somebody else is getting bullied. For <laughs> I've mean, um, got ceremony ready if you want. Like, well, Maple's not here. I don't know how gorillas uh, do these things. So, like, you, you, I don't know. By the way, I don't think we should stay here. Yeah, we we do need to move. I see dead people. Oh. But um, they may want to bring the cave down on us, so we do need to move. Fuck, um, how you kind of approaches you as he says, I see dead people, and all you guys can't really see that well in the darkness. Some of you, but even with those of you who have dark vision, you looked past Tiger's wooden leafy mask and you don't really see his eyeballs but he says i see dead people and you see this kind of disformed like mask shape with the (laughs) eyes not properly situated just kind of stare at you as he says this (laughs) you you need to take a short rest don't we yes we do we um we need to find somewhere that's uh safer and I'll point to like the keys with my we're, blades, we're, and I'm assuming they like shy away. Uh, <laughs> we're safer than in here. As you do wave around your your glaive, uh, the keys just go and like they fly away. They they don't like it. Um, there's also the fact that as you wave the glaive around, uh, every so often, uh, all of you see this. In fact, um, you'll see this like little greenish fire just kind of hover midair, and then. Vanish. Do you see something, Taiga? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I, uh, you said there was a battle here before, right? Yes, a long time ago, but yes. Between the Gerudo and the Hyrulean, as he's like pointing to spots in the air. <laughs> Hyrulean, but yes. Um, yeah, they're here. Do you, do you think we need to be afraid of goats? 
I mean, they don't notice us yet, and your light's kind of keeping them at bay. So, ghosts. Go to the ghosts. So hold on. I think ghosts. Before we before we make a good situation bad, we're in a cave where everything that's harmful to us is being deflected by Fallon's weapon, and we'd like to abandon it instead of rest, regroup, and then move as a unit. I think our best position right now is right where we're at. We rest for a moment, and then we go. Well, then the first watch would have to be me and somebody, and then the other watch would have to be Not a full rest. Not a full rest, just a short one. Okay. I, I think we could do that. If we if we do a full rest, then we give the Black Talons too much time, and we well, give um, the enemies around us time to find us. Just a short one. Rest, recoup, yeah. rejuvenate. We've, we've expanded a lot. Okay. So as and then we'll work together. You guys are going to try. I will say you got uh, all of you have been in here for at least 30 minutes you're well into trying to get a short rest Undi undisturbed unabated the, the cannon fires outside have uh, subsided very i would say maybe like a few minutes after there was a co total collapse uh, a matter of fact uh after the total collapse there were a few more cannon fires and they seem to have trailed off um but besides that, uh, you're all gathering around. Taiga, you're you have the you have the the Twilight Stones uh, a lit, and essentially warming everyone up. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone's kind of soaked to the bone, and the simple fact that you have this light source that uh, produces heat and it produces as much heat as a campfire. Any of you who get close to it feel like you're near the fire of, the, uh, of a campfire. And in fact, the funniest thing happens. If you actually grab the stone, no, it doesn't burn you. It's warm. But it seems to be able to depart heat in a way that it touches non-living material with that uh, enough heat to cook it. But when something living touches it, it doesn't seem to burn it or ignite it. As a matter of fact, it's slightly warm and soothing when you grab hold of it. Very strange and unique uh, item that Raldek has brought. But um, as you all begin to rest, you notice every so often a small flame will peer in from the outskirts of, of uh, Fallon's radius. And it'll, it'll seem to enter the light and then disappear. <sighs> as it enters the radius of uh, the light Fallon gives out. Uh, <laughs> almost... If I can interject for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Taiga. Hmm? Are those the spirits that you see? What? I think so. I mean, I just see spirits. Uh, I gotta check something because I don't mm -hmm. know how long this lasts, and I gotta make sure. Oh, uh, I can smash it. It's not long, I don't think. I think it's like a minute. Yeah, I think uh, it's about it. I'm not sure if I put a time on it. I want to say it's a minute. There we go. No, I have no way to use. Uh, I don't want it to use. Just use it. There we go. Yeah. My eyes are just on. Yeah, forever. <laughs> he never turns it off now. We'll say it's a minute. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, so. A bit exhausted a bit. from using it, but uh, uh, the feature is that feature has now been dissipated. Oh, and uh, you can't see them, but you know, you remember when you were looking around originally that they were the spirits were all in a state of like they were decaying. And they they did seem a bit attracted towards Fallon when they were kind of gathered around, almost like if the light was attracting them. Ah. Um. Yes. You said they were aggressive, George. They have not done anything yet. But, but they are drawn to you. Okay. <laughs> like a moth to a flame. Ooh. All right. A, a, a Hylian desperately trying to rekindle with the living one. Or you could just say moth, like the moth to a flame. I, I said it already. <laughs> well. <laughs> TV's off. One moment. Now I get to. There we go. Now I can adjust my voice again. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. There we are. You were sounding good. Yeah. All right. Um. <clears throat> Forty-five minutes pass, and everyone's clothes are fully dried. Nothing seems to has happened. Uh, Talia, you've been here preparing essentially snacks for the girl. Uh, yes. Is there anything in particular you prepare for the party or trying to prepare at all? Yes, I can prepare something. Got, let's see, open ingredients, open this. I think I have enough for... <laughs> I have enough oh. to feed a village. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got seafood rice balls I can make. Oh. Bio. I got, yep, I got rice and bass. Tiger kind of presents the option of seafood uh, uh, of seafood rice balls. Uh, believe it takes an hour. Uh, if you want to attempt to be making that during this hour, if you're able to achieve that short rest, I will say you're able to make it for everyone. Sounds good. Uh, there, during 50 minutes and everything's being prepped and cook uh, cooked. The strangest thing is you're all dry, but what warmth the campfire gives seems to be a bit sporadic, almost like a cold draft kind of wafts over the room. And you can't really pinpoint where the draft is coming from because you're in a cave. There shouldn't be a draft. Uh, the only entrance was sealed unless something cracked open. But there is this cold sensation that wafts over some of you as time progresses. Uh, George, uh, question about the wind. Uh, does it feel in any way like guiding or that it is just that it is an entrance somewhere down the line? There is no wind. Uh, I will tell you right now. <laughs> It's just, it feels like for a moment, like stand, it's like sitting in water and then the water gets very cold and very hot every so often. Uh, and okay. uh, okay. as like if a sea current is coming through and changing the, the temperature of the water, that's what essentially is happening. Uh, and in fact, 
Yeah, it's Pee Wee Ting right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow. Samira. Can we get a short rest just to pop, just to... Almost. Um, not there yeah. yet. Uh, you have 10 minutes. Make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Hey. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Samira. 30, 20. It gets visibly cold. And when I say visibly, all of you see this. As Samira starts to kind of freeze up and shiver. And you see her exhale and an actual burst of cold air comes out from her mouth. Uh Uh, yeah, we're clearly not welcome here. 55 minutes. I'm not sure if we need to get ready, but... I'm almost done with these rice balls. Samira Hang on. tries, like, flexing her hands. <laughs> okay. I do some stretches. <laughs> I think are the, uh, the little fire that Tyga has. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come by the fire. Uh, Samira, you go ahead and you start like trying to warm up your hands. And Fallon, you get a little bit closer to uh, and kind of bring in the radius of your your light. And as Samira, you're going ahead and you're rubbing your hands together, trying to warm up. Uh, Fallon, you get a bit closer and you see three dilapidated bodies on top of Samira, just kind of re- enveloping her. Oh, and- shit. I know what these are. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. I, I'll, I'll swipe them. I'll swipe. Not swipe. I'm sorry. I'll put my, my blade <laughs> towards them and see if they go away. If they don't go away, I will alert Samira. So you're... You're going to go ahead and kind of like wiggle your glaive in front of Samira, essentially, because they're kind of yeah. like wrapping around her. Yeah, they're like hugging her, right? Like they're around her and like slowing her down and making her feel like really <laughs> yes. weighted, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, all right. You go ahead and you take out your glaive and you wave it in front of Samira. Samira, Fallon just took out his glaive and he's just waving it in front of you. Uh, like he just goes, oh, shit. And he starts waving his glaive in front of your face. She tries Samira. looking around to see what he sees, but uh, she's Samira, she's so cold. Here. You go ahead and you start looking around, Fallon. Uh, make a persuasion check. Uh, can you roll a Barney George? I'm in the kitchen. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. For sure. Let's get some of that Novora luck in George. here. George. Oh. While um <laughs> while Fallon is rolling that, I would love to look at our new friend. Oh I believe God. her name is Nal- 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 Nalia. What's her name one more time? I put Sam on the floor though. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No. Laura, you don't name we people you kidnap, then you attach to them, and then you have a hard time letting them go. Okay? Don't name her. <laughs> Fair. I look at the girl and see if she's doing okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Because if it's just Samira, it makes sense because of the war. If it's all Gerudo, then we have a bigger problem. Uh, so you look at her. So while this is going on, Fallon, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, a few things happen. Fallon, you start okay. waving your glaive. Samira, uh, as Fallon's waving his glaive around your face, you look around really quickly and you can see these decayed hands and arms kind of enveloping you. And you start to realize that the spirits are kind of latching onto you. Mm-hmm. And uh, Fallon, as you go ahead and you wave your glaive in front of Samira. <laughs> Uh, so as you're waving your glaive in front of Samira, the 
the spirits kind of churn and go <gasps> and uh come they're coming towards, for me yeah they're coming for you uh, yeah yeah okay sensing all the yeah, owls fuck these things dude i'll okay. smack them okay uh making it well yeah you're gonna have to make an attack roll please george <laughs> be, be gentle on my rolls <laughs> you have faith. Hold on. Hold on. See his rolls. They're private. Yeah, the first roll. The yeah. first roll wasn't that great. <laughs> wow. Uh, but this, get a band. this one. This one I'm on the planking, other. I'm flanking. I'm flanking, dude. I'm flanking. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flanking, guys. I'm flanking. Me? Yeah, you you hit some mirror and you, you knock her out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fallon, uh, as these spirits come and charge after you, you go ahead and immediately swipe at them, and almost like mist being pushed away by uh, swiping your hand, they flutter away. Well, we got to be careful. Watch our surroundings. Make sure, look at each other, and uh, we'll make sure that nobody has anything on them. And I'll scratch like the back of my. I'll scratch where my curse mark was for a second, just be like, and look down a little bit, like a little bit embarrassed, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Lorath, you uh, made an inquiry about the girl. Uh, what was it again? Well, if Samira is cold and shaken, I wanted to see if these things were attaching onto her as well. Ah. If it was just the uh, just just her because of the war. Make a. I'll say this was happening as Fallon's like <laughs> like trying to fucking chase these things away. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even start. I just see nine on the. Okay. What do I see with I'm my so special oh, my. eyes? It was your special eyes. Um, they are not uh, particularly focused on her right now. They were at that very moment. Uh, some of them were, and I'll say this: it's almost like a a, a camera going off, and you seeing that uh, that flash of light before complete darkness again. Um, as Fallon was making that attack towards the spirits. Um, for that brief moment, you saw maybe, I want to say like 10 or 15 spirits just kind of surrounding everyone. There were some latched onto the mirror and some of them are kind of dilapidated and almost like a zombie walking towards fresh meat, but ever so slowly. Uh, they were kind of surrounding you all, but they have been kind of keeping your dis, uh, keeping their distance. Uh, it's unclear why they were going after Samira and not the girl next to her. Samira was in the war. If these were all aliens that died in the war, it makes sense why they'd want to go after her. And some of the other spirits are also interested in me, which would make sense because I'm, I'm a heel. Mm-hmm. I represent a knight, so. We are also an alien. And, yep. you know, it makes sense why they don't care about me. <clears throat> Make, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, the last five minutes are up. Taiga, you are able to fully make the rice balls. Perfect. Rice balls. And everyone is putting down my ingredients. There we go. And what do I roll for the stuff it gives? Oh, nine. You get nine. Get nine. Ooh, nine extra hit points. All right, so plus nine. All right, can we press the short rest, uh, Ian? Yes, you may short rest. Plus nine what, by the way? Healing. Oh, Healing. sorry, I didn't yeah. hear that. Yep. It's just yeah. food. Motherfucker, nine. Thank Healing. you for the Oh, let's go, dude. Almost at long rest, that wouldn't have really done anything. Oh, let's go. 
Everyone can short rest. Um, I need to be doubling these, actually. So, my regeneration. <laughs> my regeneration. Oh, what are you talking about? Do... Are you talking about the preset? Yeah. Uh, I think that yeah, only. One closer. No, it says uh, whenever you roll a hit die, regain hit points, double the number of hit points it restores. Oh, uh, is that what it does? Cool. Yeah. It, it makes me like Wolverine whenever I take a short rest. <laughs> I'll go back later whenever we're not like pressing the ton of buttons. All right. I'm not sure if you drink the things if you uh, run any milk that you take off your 10 page page. Yeah, because yeah, the milk would have got, worn I off. Got yeah, it's, an, it's a whole hour. The milk is gone. The power from the milk. The milk. <laughs> the rejuvenating elixir. Uh, All right, so let's see here. 11. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. All right. As you all complete your short rest, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's Jason Bourne. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fallon. Uh, I mean, you. you see, you, you see Fallon go <gasps> take a bite of the rice ball, and all his wounds just <laughs> close up. Very. Where are you putting these? <laughs> um, rice Hello? and fish. So a good amount of protein. Yeah, love and uh and magic and um twilight heat and essence of ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made one for you. Chill out. <laughs> I'm gonna catch him a ghost. Put him in a bottle. Wait, aren't Poe's ghosts in this world? Uh, Poe's... Do you still have the Poe? It's long gone. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I like want to let it go right now. You're going to okay. let it go and be like, you're with your people now. <laughs> go, <laughs> That's literally what I wanted to do. That that, that makes me irrationally upset. It's like going to China, like getting a ghost, and then going to Africa and being like, oh, dude, there's a bunch of ghosts here. Go, my tiny ghost. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what race the that? fucking Poe is, my guy? It's just like, oh, dude, here, do some other I, ghost voice. I took this ghost from across the world, and now I'm releasing it across <laughs> the world. You know? I took it like across the way. It's like 10 feet. You know, that's <laughs> only a couple weeks fine. of travel. That's how invasive fine. species happen. It's people it's like you. Like the other end of the <laughs> yeah, the, I, you invasive. think I'm not introducing this golden shit beetle to fucking Hyrule to just take over? I'm giving it to fucking beetle. I'm gonna make him happy. No, give it to the king. He loves him. <laughs> right, I'm ready for him. Oh, uh, well. You all have your short breast. You eat a bit, a bit unsettled uh, overall, as um, you know that you're essentially surrounded, and you kind of start packing up, kind of quickly and quietly. But you do your best to move on from this location and start finding your way through the cave itself. And you begin pressing forward. Okay. Now, as 
you begin to move forward. You start to feel the shift in the air kind of begin to warm up. Uh, it was definitely cold there. And as you move 10, 20, 30 feet and start going below deeper and deeper into the system, you start to feel a bit better. Um, not, not dragged down, not fearful of anything. And as you press on, you start to realize sounds almost like people talking are ahead. Is that this time, Samira, you kind of feel this nauseous feeling envelop you a little bit and all of you kind of churn to see her arm begin to glow and you can hear this pulsating almost your heart in a rhythm along with the energy aligned with the stone start to pulsate at the same time and kind of illuminate the cave around you. And every time there's that pulse, everyone in this cave starts to see these blue outlines, these blue figures, faceless, but they seem to be walking down this cave along all of, uh, alongside all of you. Pulses, it pulses, it pulses. Some of the figures become a bit more clearer. And it keeps pulsing. As Samira, you're starting to sweat, almost as if you've been running a marathon. And you start to slow down. Your arm starts to glow. And you hear... As the clock starts to tick. Fallon, you hear your father go, What she's doing further down in the cave? Is she insane? What's going on? Augustus speaks up. I've told you before. She has her own mind about things. And... If input's with her, she's not going to get into too much trouble. She just didn't want to wait around and let things get worse. Sire, if we're led into a trap or if we lose her, things can get worse. Have faith, uh, have faith in, in the queen. She knows what she's doing. All of you hear and see this and start to see Paulin and Augustus with several other figures start to move deeper into the cave and then slowly vanish as they head down further out of sight. Uh, Mira takes a second to kind of like uh, brace herself against Lorath, catch her breath. And she doesn't feel sweaty anymore, does she? Or does she continue to like? It's like you, you just got done basically relieving yourself and you're <laughs> recovering. And when I say relieve, I mean throw up. I wrong term of phrase, but uh, whoops. uh you whoops. Yeah. whoopsie do. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's a shitty, it's a shitty situation. So yeah, like at least five pounds were lost. Yeah, at least. Um, Sweat, but you're starting to recover your senses. Um, I just need a moment. That was interesting. 
as the remainder of that would be to see. And I, I say this very, very carefully. Do you believe it would be intelligent to swap the gemstone out for something else? She thinks about it for a moment, analyzes the pros and cons. If, if I switch it out, we might not get answers regarding Black Talon. And isn't that what the White Whale's seeking? Is. You're right. If it hurts you and damages you and something is to happen, then it might not be entirely worth it. It. It's just a thought. It's not, not something we have to do right now. I assure you it is. For now, currently, not doing any physical harm. Okay. You all begin to press on forward deeper into the labyrinth of this structure, this natural formation of things. But you begin to notice as you go further in the rough outcrops of rock begin to become smooth, almost like polished stone. Almost a stark contrast of the natural cave rough-like texture. Every few feet, the stone gravel starts to become a bit more polished and a bit more polished and uh, crafted. As it seems that there seems to be a walkway of sorts. As all of you reach the bottom. Which ain't the appropriate term for this, but as you begin to reach the level leveling out point of this cave, just further ahead in the distance, you see two figures. A girl who looks very much like Samira and the king. Now, from what I've been able to gather. Furlong down the passage is, I believe they call themselves the Yiga. They might have him further down in there. I heard they've been performing some ritual, some ceremony, or something of the like. Gus is, looks at her and kind of pats her on, pass her on the shoulder. Don't worry. With you as our guide, we'll get there in time. Come on. We have... Before... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Before it... Like, if it's still strongly there and she gets the sensation that it's leaving, Mir's going to step forward and just instinctually try and reach for the girl's hand. Okay. Make a athletic check. Uh, every one of you see Samira immediately dart, dart out uh, during the middle of this conversation and she goes to reach for the figure and Samira it's like catching air as soon as you reach and make it to that point the conversation just vanishes the figure 
as you try to reach for their hands, intangible, and disappears. Can Samira punch ghosts? What a statement. Yeah. <laughs> but what these are I... images. Yeah, okay. Not ghosts. <laughs> she can post punch ghosts if she wanted to. <laughs> but these aren't ghosts. List of ghost punch. Oh. Samira kind of realizing is embarrassed and slightly upset and she sh shakes it off and tries to see if she can regain um, what was going to be said. Um, you go ahead and you try to focus but make a make a constitution saving throw. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. You try to reconstitute what was there and your focus split over over your rushing thoughts and it's gone. You start to look in almost a frantic state. You start to look around and kind of kind of like um you put pressure on your arm squeezing it putting some tension on it uh and start looking around do me a favor of roll dexterity saving throw okay Oh yeah, because you're near Fallon. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, god damn, plus ten. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, <laughs> um, hey, I'll, Fallon. I will say at this point you're not near Fallon, so either way, it's uh, just, I think it's minus two. You have a plus eight, regardless. Uh, never mind, Fallon. It's fine. Uh, twenty one. <laughs> yeah, your your twenty one really gonna be taking a shit right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Samira, as you go ahead and you're kind of stumbling around trying to regain this conversation that was essentially lost. Um, all of you here. <laughs> And a click happens. And as soon as that click happens, a spear juts out of the cave wall and comes straight for your face. And Samir, you're able to instinctually uh, regain your yourself and dodge out of the way before is able to penetrate your skull. And Man, I actually <laughs> deflect missile and it comes out it's is it comes out of the wall it's not an arrow it's actually is a mechanism that just okay. came straight out and went for you there's actually several of these spears and as you step back you hear the click again and the spears go back into the wall and placed on Samir's shoulder let's stand still for a sec I agree. Uh, I know uh, he's looking at me so intently right now. Tiger, yeah. you have the best eyes here. I do. Can you can you check for traps and PD Pee Wee? Can you help him? Um, as long as I'm just looking for it and not trying to like investigate how uh, they were made or what they're supposed to do, I should be okay. I, no, I no, no, my, no, no, no. You're I just looking polar. for. I have a ten foot pole like right here. We could just start poking, I mean, at, start poking yeah. at shit. Well, I start poking the ground, you can man. also tell me anywhere in thirty feet to press, and I can see if I can press the. You know, Ooh, all you, Tiger. You just you just point and tell us what to do, my friend. 
DM, oh, wait, is this a I... perception check or an investigation check? Because uh, let me tell you, it's a 10 point difference. <laughs> I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, go in the room. I'll guidance you, my good friend. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> so, a perception. I would say the DC for a perception check will be higher if you want to do a perception. Uh, a DC check for an investigation will be lower if you're doing an investigation. Uh, right. That's only because uh, this is a little bit different on depending on who's doing the check. Let's say yeah. for Fallon's investigation check, it will be a higher DC because uh, he's literally using a source of light to try to look for things in a 30-foot radius. But you have dark vision. Yeah. You should be able to see things. All right. So perception check with a D4 from Pee Wee for I am blessed by Hylia. I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if he fails, <laughs> if he fails, he can roll a little more. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying. Sure enough. Um, sure enough, there are various traps and you actually see one a little further down the way that seems to have been set off by a falling piece of debris of uh stalactite that has fallen down and hit the pressure plate on the ground itself and as you can see the spears are just in a perpetual state of being stuck out uh as that plate is stuck into it um but you're able to spot out a few a few locations where uh, there are potential traps. And you're able to circumvent and navigate them with enough of a, you know, description to have everyone move around it. All right. So you see this like one strangely blue tile when the rest are gray. Don't step on this one. And you see this one red tile that's strangely red while all of them are gray. You don't step on this one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh, and don't step on that. And and this gray one right here, you don't want to step on this one either. Okay. <laughs> but I thought gray was was okay. Well, yes, because they established that pattern and they get you with this one. So halfway through, we have to switch to the grays being bad. Well, no. Just like any of the colored ones are bad, except for that green one. The green one's fine for some reason. But this but this gray one here, you don't. Okay. You know what? Just, 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 I'll follow just you. How about that? It's like okay. hopscotch. You, you yeah, just, yeah. you know, he's drawing out a path, and then you hop yeah. on. What is hopscotch? So... <laughs> uh... Hey, George, can no, you reload really the just, server real quick? Because I lost, bad. me this and Matt lost bad. connection. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I lost connection too earlier in just now. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, let me say something. Oh, yeah, look at that. Sure one of these days we'll all lose connection. We just won't say anything about it. <laughs> Strangest thing. Let me see if I can fix that. That. Um, yeah, let me reboot the server. See if that fixes it. Jesus Christ. Ah, new hard drives, new problem. So Hopscotch is a game that tiny children play where you draw chalk on the ground and you hop across it. Lorath, we're not children. There's fucking ghosts. I love this you is, so much. This is too spooky. Now, when you draw the um, the the pattern, like what is it? Is it different every time? Okay, have you no, it's the hopscotch? same one. What's hopscotch? Okay, awesome. Yeah, great. Okay. I want to teach Tiger how to play hopscotch, and then we can go across the pattern, George. <laughs> okay. Make a dexterity oh. track. So, so we're gonna take. A, I can't. 
God damn it. Uh, <laughs> IRL dexterity check. <laughs> I have got the perfect item for this. Uh, the perfect item. Where is it? Oh. Service down. Why? Yeah, I know. I, I'm, tr- I'm trying to fix it. You can't say no to a man that has the perfect item for this. Come on. Yeah. I have, oh. I have various chocks and paints. <laughs> I'm going to try to switch failed to check save. my thing really quickly. Give me a second.